Hey YouTube. I told you I was going to get into this jacuzzi. I had a restful night. Um, slept well, didn't sleep long, but I slept really long the night before, so I guess it worked out. Um, guess what I was doing this morning? So, I woke up, I'm listening to the waves, I am thinking about how amazing the last few days and weeks have been. Um, focusing on the blessings, you know, just whenever your mind is wanting to go to dark places, focus on the blessings. And I was wondering, should I make a video? And I was beginning to overthink it. Overthinking. And I caught myself and I was like, you know what, Simone, just no, no, just make a video. If you feel like it, make a video. And if you post it, you post it. And if you change your mind afterwards, then you don't post it, right? But watch the sun come up. Don't have a clean view of the sunrise, but it was still beautiful to see the light changing. The moon still pretty full. There's the sun. And again, just sit and count your blessings. Um, there's a light show going on in the jacuzzi, which you would see better at night, of course. But I don't have it too hot. It's at 104 degrees. So getting a nice little soak before I do whatever. I don't know what the day will bring. I don't know. Whatever it is. Just taking it one day at a time. And in terms of weight loss, really pleased. So I walked with a bikini and really pleased with the progress. Oops. Boob slippage. Right. So yeah, there's my navel a lifetime ago, two lifetimes ago. But really pleased with the progress on um, the body. So, a little fat to go, so that I'll keep it. It's real life, it's real life, don't worry about it. There's no scale in here, I wanna know how much I weigh. Anyways guys, the jacuzzi session isn't about making a super long video. Um, there are people exercising on the beach, um, which I thought about doing, but I've done this beach before. I've done it before. And nothing's stopping me from coming back and just walking the beach in the morning, um, even if I'm not staying at a fabulous resort hotel. But guys, if you have anything troubling you this Sunday take and nothing is troubling me this Sunday but I've had a lot of Sundays where it's like I'm just worrying myself into Monday and I don't enjoy the day um, stop shut off the negative thoughts focus on the blessings if you feel like you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to get all of these things done, like laundry and cook and this and that, and, you know, some people, especially in the Caribbean, we have Sunday routines. So washing and cleaning maybe on Saturday, and then you cook a really good meal before or after church on the Sunday and iron and, you know, get ready for the work week. And before you know it, it's Monday and people want to know why they're so tired and why they didn't really enjoy the weekend and all of these things. Um, sometimes you need to stop even if it is 10 minutes for yourself. Self-care Sundays are important. Um, and all of the things that you're worrying about, stop worrying about it. Is it going to matter in two years, five years? Some things might, but in the grand scheme of things, you're kind of shortening your life by worrying too much. Um, and overthinking is my, you know, guilty. Overthinking is my issue. So 
it's something I have to practice at, which is why I'm saying these things, because I'm not perfect in any stretch of the imagination. But I am going to probably end this video um, shortly. And yeah, I don't know what I'll post next, but stay tuned for the adventure of life, which continues. I'll catch you in the next one, YouTube.